Hi everyone. So in the last lecture, I have mentioned like product of two even or two odd signals is what an even signal. And I have also said like product of even signal and odd signal is an odd signal. But in this lecture, I am going to prove this lines. Okay. So let's start. So what is the agenda? So I have this resultant signal x of n which is basically product of two signals x1 of n and x2 of n right so first case we will see if this x1 of n and x2 of n are what even signals so tell me one thing if x1 of n and x2 of n are even signal it means what it means x1 of n we can write like x1 of minus n right same goes for x2 of n also so we can write x2 of n like x2 of minus n clear for all values of n this thing is clear so if x1 of n and x2 of n are even then we can write like this clear now we have x of n so what i want then what will be the value of x of minus n so x of minus n will be what x1 of minus n into x2 of minus n right we are replacing n by minus n simple so it becomes this now tell me x1 of minus n we can write it as x1 of n also correct so we can write it as x1 of n into x2 of minus n we can write it as x2 of n simply so x2 of n fine now what is this x1 of n into x2 of n if you see here this is what x of n so from here we proved like x of minus n is equal to what x of n is it clear therefore this x of n is what an even signal an even signal hope this is clear to you so from this we can say like product of two even signals are what even signal fine so hope this is clear to you now let's move to the next now suppose x1 of n right and x2 of n are odd signals this time fine so if these two are odd signals it means what we can write it as x1 of minus n is equal to minus of x1 of n correct and for x2 of n we can write it as if it is odd so we can write it as x2 of minus n is equal to minus of x to n clear now we already know the value for x of n is this so what will be the value for x of minus n so x of minus n will become replace minus n uh, n by minus n right so it will become simply x1 of minus n into x2 of minus n now move further now tell me x1 of minus n so if you see here x1 of minus n can be written as minus of x1 n right so we can write it as minus x1 of n correct and x2 of minus n we can write it as what minus x2 of n so it will become minus x2 of n so overall what we will get this minus minus will become plus so you will get what here x of x1 of n into x2 of n so what is this x1 of n into x2 of n see here this particular thing it is x of n so you can say here that x of 
minus n is what is equal to x of n and what is this statement what is this condition this is for even signal so again we came to the conclusion like even two signals are what odd signals if we product if we do the product or you can say product of two odd signals also gives you the even signal proved right so here this is proved correct and here this is proved so hope the first is statement is clear to you so i have proved the first statement like product of two even or odd signals is an even signal now let's move to the next statement so here what we have seen is product of even signal and odd signal is an odd signal so we have to prove this so suppose and what was the expression initially x of n is equal to x1 of n into x2 of n right okay now assume x1 of n is what even signal and x2 of n is what odd signal so if x1 of n is what even signal so what we can write we can write x1 of minus n is equal to x1 of n now x2 of n is odd signal so if x2 of n is odd signal what we can write x2 of minus n is equal to minus x2 of n fine so we have this x of n is equal to this now what will be the value for x of minus n it will become what it will become x1 of minus n into x2 of minus n now see further x1 of minus n we can write it as x1 of n so x1 of n now x2 of minus n we can write it as minus x2 of n so minus sign will come so i am using minus sign here x2 of n so what is this this is basically x of n and here we have this minus sign so minus x of n this is equal to what x of minus n and if you know about the odd signal condition i have clearly mentioned like a discrete time x signal x of n is said to be an odd signal if it satisfies the below condition this condition that is x of minus n is equal to minus of minus x of n for all n right so this is what basically from here we can conclude like x of n is what odd signal odd signal so basically if you are going to perform the product of even signal and odd signal the resultant will be a odd signal so i hope this thing is clear to you so i have proved both the statements hope this is clear to you so thanks for watching this video if you like the video please subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section thanks for tuning in